Africa has a very clear agenda, um, firstly to boost uh, intra-Africa trade uh, and also to, to improve its uh, participation in global trade as well as uh, uh, regional trade. I think that um, the landscape is going to change uh, insofar as uh, uh, that uh, agenda is, is coming to fruition. I think that Africa is going to increase its trade among its, its uh, um, member countries. Uh, and I see that uh, playing a significant role in the, in the trade landscape uh, in Africa. Uh, so um, we see that uh, wa with uh, the coming into play of uh, the tripartite um, uh, free trade agreement, uh, the CFTA, uh, we should see an improved uh, intra-Africa trade um, uh, landscape. The balance of those countries required to, uh, to reach a ratification stage could easily come from Africa because uh, really a trade facilitation agreement will benefit um, Africa the most, being a continent where trade costs are, th are the highest. So uh, the trade facilitation agreement will ease uh, uh, those uh, um, uh, challenges. Um, I think that um, in looking at what has been difficult for Africa, uh, it's, it's mainly on, on three fronts. One uh, is that um, if trade is not significant um, uh, for African countries, uh, they see no incentive uh, to, to take more steps in looking at, uh, at that area. So um, it is a disincentive for them because there isn't enough, enough trade. But that is, that is uh, not to say that we cannot look at um, measures that can ease uh, trade flows and uh, really that should be the answer for African countries. Secondly, uh, it's the, the red tape within the countries, the process of ratification and how um, trade has been placed on the agenda of respective countries. Then the third one is that uh, countries may have difficulties in uh, the notification um, uh, in, in categorizing their, their measures and so forth, and they need technical assistance in this area. So these are the three main challenges that Africa may be facing, and I think partners must look at those uh, uh, with objectivity and assist the African countries.